big hello ha! top of the morning jake snakey what you doing with your snake right there my friend uh welcome guys by the way uh if you're the first time to the channel we put out very much uh, beautifully edited cinematic videos and we're here at the reptile uh, show in tinley for the first time in almost two years and yeah that's what's happening This one we're not going to cut. And this camera, like my previous cameras from these segments, runs for as long as we want it to. So we're just going to run this thing down to the show's over and run around. We got Jake, my buddy What's Jake. What's going on? If you guys have been watching and following on stuff, you know Jake. Um, I mean, we had you on Snakes with Friends like yeah, so many years back. Three, four years ago, yeah. You're, yeah. you're a Tinley staple for yes, myself sir. and many other people. Yeah. Yeah. Local show for me, so. Yeah. Yeah. What you got there? So this is a Paradox Super Phantom that's 100% het anthrax. So it's got a lot of other genes possibly. It could be uh, Super Sun, it could be Tiger, it could be Golden Child, but it's just an absolute freak. You know, one of a kind, the chance of reproducing it is slim to none. She's cool, she's got two different color eyes. So she'll hold still. So we got kind of a normal colored, I don't know if it's gonna show up, normal colored Super Phantom eye. And then on the other side, it's kind of almost red looking. It's really weird. Hmm. Kind of neat, kind of neat. But yeah, just an absolute crazy, crazy snake. It's cool, all the paradoxing is kind of growing as she grows. It's kind of getting bigger and more of it. So yeah, it's a pretty neat animal. It's great, fantastic, man. Yeah. Thank you. Well, Jake, if people would like to come find it, well, obviously, JK Reptiles. I mean, I got it right here on my shirt. Yeah. That was totally by chance. I don't know if you guys watched that weird random episode where I showed you how my yeah. shirt rotation works, then you know this was completely random. But uh, I didn't randomly pick to start with Jake first. That was by design. Yeah. I decided <laughs> we're coming to Jake first. Um, awesome. Dude, you've, you've always been such a great pleasure to see every time I come you to the show. You too, man. Yeah. I love seeing you every show. So yeah, dude. It's man, always you good bring time. great quality animals. Like, you, you killing it with your Thanks, raising buddy. your family now Thanks, like yeah he's little man's here hanging out so yeah <laughs> first time vending with me so yeah. it's a good time you guys are killing it man thank you thank you, you. Continue to do well what if you want to find a jk reptiles snake what's the best place to follow you uh, i'm on facebook instagram youtube morph market um i'm also doing a retic uh podcast retic radio spotify and youtube so check that out as well boom cool Ooh, man killing man awesome always brother. good to see you yeah. appreciate, it, appreciate, it, appreciate it man <laughs> appreciate it yeah dude I'm, this is wild. I've never had an unlimited amount of time to run around. It's, dude, it, it went so fast. Right. So fast. But I mean, just as far as my, usually my camera stops oh, recording yeah. automatically after a half hour. I'm just going to do this one whole on cut. Just like, let it, it, let it roll until Bye, the show's over, I think. Right. <laughs> you too, bro. Later. Congratulations, dude. Oh, thank you. Um, hey, so <laughs> we raised about, or I, yeah, we, the whole group raised about $120,000 last night at the US Arc auction. I didn't mention this, it is Sunday at the show, last hour, winding down, and uh, I'm just gonna run around and see if we can see as many cool animals as we can for you guys. And of course, the folks that are running around. Maybe I should run around to the other side, or maybe we should see other people that should be filming instead of just holding their camera down. Is this cow going cut, or can I say whatever? Um, that's the same answer well, to hey, that question. Is it always cow going cut? No, but you can always say whatever you want. Oh, I just wasn't sure, like, do if I backpedal, if I say things that I don't mean to say or I don't think about. We don't want to hear about that stuff. Hi, Brian. <laughs> we, we want to hear what, what you mean look, to say. What are you What are you looking at today? I'm looking at Thomas. This is the man. If you guys wish, reach out reptiles. Yes. If you guys didn't realize, this is the man that's been producing the videos, filming the videos, editing the videos, telling great yes. stories, in my opinion. Oh, thanks, um, man. Maybe I should run over to Garrett's booth real quick. Start yes, over there. Well, I haven't, Garrett's not there, but. That's fine. So Garrett, Garrett's booth is in the very back corner. Um, he's always got a very amazing booth i feel like we should go check it out for you guys who haven't seen a person what we really need to do is you need to come here in person so you can see people like jeremy turgeon formerly of node but always and currently of brassman reptiles that's right yeah how so are you doing you i'm doing great do you i'm running around uncut video do it doing, doing it do it morph market we had john john lehman on uh triple b tv there's an episode gonna be coming out with john talking about all things to expect coming from morph market uh and guess what else we're having a good time. If you guys have not been to a reptile show, even if you're not a reptile keeper, tell you what, last night at US Arc auction, I met this girl who came here for the first time. Doesn't even really keep reptiles. She just like watched the YouTube videos from different creators in the YouTube 
space in the reptile space and she was just like let's come on down and see what this is all about no none of her friends want to come with her so she just came on her own and she had an amazing time like connecting with awesome people down here at the show so even if you're not into reptiles like you should come down to one of these shows and I gotta say, even though I'm a California guy and I love the super shows and I love Rami and everything he does out there, there is something that I've never been able to quite put my finger on here at the Tin Lee Reptile Show that is just special. It's something about, well again, I can't quite put my finger on it, but you should really come to the Tin Lee Park Reptile Show. I'm planning to come to every single one of these that ever happens and I think that you won't regret it. So let's take a look at Gary's booth because that's where we're at now. Lisa, can can you give us a small tour of the of the booth here at Reach Out Reptiles? Can um, you? sure. Thanks. Um, here we have a bunch of our locality snakes, right over here. There's something special about this. I feel like we have all the localities represented here. The Rapa is the smallest and rarest of the super dwarfs. Can you say that one more time? It's a marble carampa. And Karampa is one of the smallest and rarest of the super dwarfs. And we crossed it into marble. So a Karampa has a real busy pattern. A marble has a real busy pattern. When you combine the two, you get this. A crazy looking marble. Is this your first time holding a snake or are you you're no. a pro? No. no. You're a pro already. Ball python. Ball python. Ball python. First time holding a retic? Yes. All right. Congratulations. Do you know Brian Cusco? It's a big deal. To hold that Triple B TV. Don't put it on a spot like that. <laughs> this is Brian Kesko. No, Get it straight, oh, buddy. Rob Roush. That's Rob Roush. Don't let him try to fool you, folks. Um, so, yeah, Gary, one thing Gary did, which is awesome, you may have heard if you follow his channel, is he brought every single locality of Super Dwarf Retic to his booth so that people can handle and feel and see the differences with their eye which is another reason to come down to this reptile show, uh, what the differences are between all the different localities of Superdor free ticks. I mean, if you're into free ticks and Superdors, like that seems like a pretty smart move to me. And also a hell of an accomplishment to be able to have that variety of localities and species available to show people in public, in person. So, fantastic. We're gonna walk on. Lisa, oh, you got more to show me, Lisa? This poster, this educational say, say poster. One more time. The educational poster, Dwarf and Super Dwarf Reticulated Python Localities. Kind of what they look like, the sizes they get to, as comparison to a human being. <laughs> yeah, so as much as I'd like, I'm always making fun of not wanting to like help Garrett because he's always doing such a great job by himself or with his team of uh, bringing Super Dwarfs to the world. I don't know. He's he's really doing a good job. That, that's that's all it is. He can't he can't make jokes about how he's not because he is. He's doing a fantastic job. He's setting a bar, setting a bar for folks out there in the reptile industry. I'd say a uh, good bar to try and get to. Let's see. Oh, sim container. I wonder if John's here. Oh, John's right there. He's talking to somebody though, so I don't want to cut him off. It's a rude thing, you know. Just cut somebody off and they're talking. Let's take a look at what he's got though. For a couple weeks. Sim container. John Adranya. That's right. You're good, man. Okay. You sure? Yep, do whatever you need to do. I'm, I'm not in my way. What's your favorite monitor on here? Ackies. Red Aki monitors. John Adranya's favorite. John, John knows quite a bit about monitor lizards. And so if he says that red Ackies are his favorite in the monitor world, well... There's something to be said for that, so good job. Guys, check out Sim Container. John's a good man. Thank you, John. <laughs> he left me hanging on the fist bump, but you know, I don't think he meant to. <laughs> wait, wait, how much do you know about my past? Not you, Brian. <laughs> Shut up. Go away. Okay. All right. That's what I thought. <laughs> uh, it's fun. It's a, it's a big family here. Speaking of big family, look. Show's ending, but Cold Blooded Cafe is still wide and open for business. I, I can't. I, yeah, yeah I, I love filters. Say hi to the people, Stephen. Brian. Hi, people. <laughs> I just pulled up mom to sell yeah. you. See that? Can Can we have you go into the into the cold freezer? Oh yeah, that sounds great. Okay. I know you like like cold tubs. That's cold 
square Put thing. me in. Let's do it. Like, okay. Let's make it happen quick. This is an uncut video. We, go we can't waste any time. We've only got so much time left. <laughs> Apparently, this is what's happening. What am I doing? Am I you gotta right? get in there. You got to get in there. How? But how? Are you I'll show you. I'll show you. He doesn't even know what's going on. I'm going to make it through this, right? Right Oh, no. Hold I'm not your gonna breath. Fit. Hold your breath. <laughs> you, we can't close them in. No, I can't. Unfortunately, it can't be closed. <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe. Tuck and burn, tuck and burn, baby, tuck and burn. Exhale. <laughs> is it burning? Kids, do not do that at home. That's stupid. Oh get out, get out. Oh my God. Brian Cusco, everybody. I didn't, I didn't get to be as cold as I wanted to be. Well, I couldn't I fit all the way in. Moving. I could have been way colder. You feel cold, though. You feel a little colder. Do you feel that? Yeah, I feel that. It's an indent. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> it burns a little bit. It does. But it feels good. Don't touch it, kids. <laughs> don't, don't touch dry ice don't with your bare that. skin. <laughs> it's painful. <laughs> I, I, don't know. I like to I aim to please, guys. What can I say? All right, let's go find some more animals. Let's, no more of these shenanigans. Let's go find some like animals. This is ridiculous. I, I've tried to do a serious video for you guys, and I can't help myself. You got a favorite animal that's on the table still? It's still on the table. Man, so this orange dream, uh, calico head exanthic. I'm excited to get that stuff into the exanthic project. Calico orange dream head exanthic. Okay. Alright. Yeah. It's not, not the most uh, complex one on the table for sure, but I just think it's super pretty. Yeah, it is very pretty. And to be fair, that could be said about pretty much everything on the table. I right. <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> really <laughs> appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah, Good seeing you, man. You too, bro. Yeah. Run around, just make it happen. Last last hour of the show. Make it make it go. Uncut. <laughs> oh look at these folks over here. What's this guy doing? This guy, it's that guy. It's handsome, it's handsome. Guys. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I just yeah. climbed, out of, climbed out of a tub of dry ice and... Uh, climbed out of oh. a tub of dry ice. Yeah. Over here at Cold-Blooded yeah, Cafe. Yeah, Cold-Blooded Cafe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get your rodents to Cold-Blooded Cafe, by the way. Yeah, I me mean, too. Celebrate, I uh, you know, <laughs> Forrest and his legacy and his, his and Des Desiree and the whole fam over there. Um, yeah. 100%. Cold-Blooded is the cleanest rodents I've ever bought and high quality packaging, everything. They're very easy to work with. So I've, I've had a lot of good experience with them. I didn't even pay him to say that. Yeah. Not at all. Pack pythons, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Elijah. Hey. <laughs> all right, we're doing it. Oh, JD Constriction. I definitely wanted to bring you guys over here. John Degg Constrictors. This man has cornered the market on black and white, folks. <laughs> I mean, look. I don't know if you guys can see from standing back here, but here, let's get a little closer in. You about to pull out your favorite, John? Yeah. Snake, you mean, right? Uh, yeah, let's go with his favorite snake. I don't know what he was thinking about, but yeah, let's go with the snake. Oh, uh, dude, it's just so black and white over here. So, I don't know that I can pick just one, so that's going to be the problem here, right? So, these three are definitely in the running. And so, obviously, we've got like a pastel, like a firefly clown, firefly exanthic clown. Firefly exanthic clown, you got it. Nailed yep. it. Yeah, this is a, a more reduced pattern version. We've hatched one with a little more pattern, but I really dig just the flat look of the reduced pattern, the blushing through the back, those black, you know, permanent marker bleeding sides. Um, this then is the same combo, but add yellow belly, which kind of cranks up the pixelation and the side pattern, which I'm in love with as well. And also part of the reason I can't pick just one and then last but not least is a little paradox firefly inchy example clown dude what are you doing taking all the color out that's it <laughs> just gotta take away the color man those are gorgeous dude thank you you take you. good job John thank you appreciate well that done, sir absolutely Thank you. Yeah. I no, thank you. you. I appreciate it. Oh, that. I'll see you again, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Won't be too long. John, dude, John's a really cool guy, too. He actually made a, like, a magic card. I don't know if you guys remember Magic the Gathering at all. I played that when I was a kid, just like the rest of us nerds. Um, yeah. And he made some kind of card. I have it. I'll have to show it to you later. Uh, magic the Gathering, like, 
reptile card. I think it like had the like you had to tap it to play it and all that stuff. Like I should have been a little more on it when I was thinking about this stuff. But no, wait. Let's uh, let's we got we're like still on the front end of the show. And I really want to bring you guys like through as much of the show as possible and check out. Here, here's some, how's about some animals right here. Don't mind me babbling there a second ago. I was just babbling, just babbling, babbling, babbling nonsense. Just looking at some snakes. I just don't want you guys to have dead air time, you know what I mean? Look at that corn snake. It's very bright in there. Got some blue tongue skanks. Got some hypo sun glows. Ooh. I know where we got to go next. Uh, RL Exotics, I believe, is right around the corner here. That's Mr. Dave Levinson. Um, hopefully we can catch him and check out some of the animals he's got. I'm skipping over a bunch of booths because like I literally I want to be able to walk from one end to the other. So I'm sorry if I missed your booth. We are 15 minutes in this video. Do you know where Dave went? No? <laughs> Can you not face one more time? <laughs> so there's this snake over here that I was checking out. I have all these beautiful bows on this table and it's that one right there. Definitely not the most complex genetically or even like the powerhouse per se. But there is just something about this jungle het sharp, possible het square tail blood male that has just stood out to me. But look, look at the other bows on the table. Like the VPI T positive snow, VPI sun glow. Look, these things up here, these red rum jungle axanthics, red rum jungle axanthic IMG VPI. Like th these are incredible looking boas. But for me, it just this one right here just seems so clean and beautiful. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about that particular snake. And if, if I'm out of my mind for thinking that's the most beautiful snake out of all these gorgeous boas. Or, you know, if I'm just having a difference of opinion from you. I'd, I'd, I'd love to hear what you think about these snakes in the comment down below. I've been talking to a camera a lot this weekend. Just not to this one. <laughs> I can feel it in my blood. Camera side. Do you guys have a favorite snake that you'd like to show us real quick on camera? You want to show off on camera? No, nothing special. All right, fair enough. What about you? You got something special you want to show on camera? No. Snake? No, no. Yeah, All right, I try. I shouldn't have waited till the end of the show. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, nobody even wants to share their snakes. So we're like, no, no, I'm packing up. We're going home. We had enough of this already. Well, let's take a look at some animals over here. These these displays are always nice that they have set up over here because uh, they're very easy to view the animals without having to take them out of their enclosure. So let's take a look over here. Big, beautiful, team positive hey, albino I'm blood that python. Giant female bearded dragon. I that is a big, beautiful, gorgeous snake. From what I understand, uh, it's all about T positive, not so much about T negative. Got some Argentine black and whites. Yep, excuse me, sorry. Got a mangrove monitor crawling around back there. Got an albino blue ice tegu. Got some pretty sizable Morauke blue tongue skink action happening right there. Massive doomerals down here. Jeez, those things are huge. How about some tortoise action for you tortoise lovers? Yellow foot tort? Marbled cherry head, having a good old late afternoon snack. Got some Russian tortoises trying to push their way, bully their way into, you know, whatever. And obviously for you guys that have not been to a reptile show or are familiar with how it works, those are not the enclosures that those animals live in. That's just for them to be on display for the show, um, just in case there's any confusion about that. Uh, let's take a let's take a gander around. Um, oh, we want to show up Adeline Robinson's art. Ad, Addie Robinson always has beautiful art over here. I want to kind of like go over some of it and show. She always donates stuff to U.S. Art Auctions and does beautiful designs. Do you guys mind if I show off some of the art? Sweet. Would, would you mind? I'm with you too. I like never get photos of people that show them. Well, yeah. Let's, let's take a photo. I'm doing an uncut awesome. video right now too. Okay, sweet. Can yeah. we can we uh, share? Can you share some of your favorite pieces that you've done? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I mean, there's my most recent piece that I did right before the show. I was trying as hard as I could to get as much done as I 
as possible for the 20th anniversary, so I just did this King Cobra piece. Um, I think it took like about eight hours or so, nine hours, maybe ten hours, who knows. Uh, but that's my latest one. One of my favorites. And then another piece that I did fairly recently is the Blue Insularis. Oh, yeah. So that one seems to be a hit. It's just so bright and bold and it's, it's quickly become like my favorite as well. So that one I actually started working on during a show too. Um, started drawing and was able to get it finished and now it made prints. So a lot of fun stuff. Uh, the toke, that one is on the shirts for the NARBC show. Actually, I think they're almost out of the shirts right now, um, but that one's a lot of fun. And what's even better too is uh, it's from Gallery Gecko and she brought the gecko itself here so I can meet it in person. And so it was kind of fun to be like, oh, like, that's her. And you know, I got photos of her next to the, her portrait too. So those are a couple of my, my top pieces. And of course, the tree monitors, because I, I love tree monitors. I could talk about them all day. <laughs> so. Well, if people are not at the show and they'd like to get your art, where can they go to? AdelineRobinsonArt.com. That's my website. I've got a web shop. I've got a lot of updating to do after the show, because I've got a lot of stuff that I'm debuting here. But everything will be up there on my web store. And feel free to message me and check me out on Facebook and Instagram, too. Sweet. Hey, let's take a picture right here. Yes. I got, look, I'm taking 24 pictures a second. Awesome. Right? Bing. Yay. If you want well, one for your phone, you. phone, we can do that, too. Yeah, that would All be right. great. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Dude, dude. It's fantastic work. Thank like, you just, so much. It's great. I, that means a lot. Like, I work so hard at it. And, like, my hands will, like, cramp up. My eyes will, like, be all crazy. But it's seeing people just be happy seeing it makes dude, it all dude, worth it. Dude, the new skull brought in, like, a... That was a big amount that I brought it for US yeah, Art Yeah, $4,001. $4,001. Yeah, super happy with <laughs> One that. One item. Yeah, Fantastic. And, and just seeing everybody looking at it. As we take a picture over here. Don't mind us. <laughs> I got the camera up in the picture. I'm such a dork. It's all good. But, like, seeing them looking at the piece and just smiling with how happy they were that they got it was, like, it makes my heart so full. Like, it, this is why I do what I do. I just love making cool stuff people enjoy and you know appreciating the animals that i'm just so head over heels with so yeah fantastic thank good. you appreciate it's great it to see you for good to see you too i know hopefully one of these days we'll chat more yeah yeah we will absolutely we'll see you, around. you too Take it easy, thank man. you man all right all right there's a gentleman over here that i know doesn't really want to be on camera i really want to put him on camera i don't want to force him to go on camera Man, that dry ice did a number on the back. Oh, look at that, dude. That was, uh, yeah, again, kids, don't go climbing into tubs of dry ice. That, that's owie. Mm. So anyway, Juggernaut Reptiles, you guys may have followed him on YouTube for quite some time. I certainly followed him on YouTube for quite a while before I even had a YouTube channel. And uh, Elijah Armas, Blood Tales, uh, Blood Tales, Blood Pythons, a Short Tail Python. See, I do it too. <laughs> and <laughs> Geckos certainly have eyelids at least oh my god <laughs> don't get me started on that <laughs> i just said blood tails so like what are you gonna do you know blood tail pythons I mean, at the end of the show we kind of don't have any words left you know we do but they could just get jumbled that's yeah all. that's that's accurate yeah. <laughs> and the, the beauty of it the fact that it's an uncut video is just like we get to see all those jumbles it, it happens it's all good i'm gonna look at some of these snakes over here and see if we can pop elijah's face on camera I'm gonna ask his permission first. I don't know if he's gonna like it, but I'm gonna ask. How are you doing? Doing good, how are you? What's going on, Greg? What's up, bro? What's going on? I'm just doing an uncut video, man. Running around showing some of the animals at the show last hour. I just have to run around again. I'm doing interviews all day over there. It's like no chance to run around and show people's beautiful animals, but. Um, as I'm showing some of the beautiful animals you produced, I was going to ask your permission to point the camera upwards so you could say hello to it and just put a put your face on the video and How say. How are you doing? Yeah. Uh, what's going on, man? Hi, people. Elijah Armas, Juggernaut Reptiles. A freaking long, like almost almost a decade now of of work that that is fantastic. Yeah, thanks, man. At least public, publicly for ten years almost. That's, yeah, it's 2012 I started. Yeah. 2012. Uh, yeah, this one of the like before I even thought about starting a YouTube channel, I was watching this guy's videos on on blood pythons on YouTube. So like, 
<laughs> Fantastic, man. No, Seriously. Thanks a lot. Thanks. It was great, great work. I've always enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Beautiful animals. So, so be, yeah, you know if you want to see anything. Um, what's, what's, what's your favorite? Yeah. What's your favorite? My favorite? Yeah. Major for sale. Um, Does she walk around with me? Oh, yeah. I think this my one, this wife actually took it. my favorite. She took the favorite. She took him around, right? See, okay. Look, okay. We'll tell you what. See, next favorite, or you want to come back? No, I was going to say, yeah, I'm just doing like a video. I'll run around, check out a few other vendors, and then I'll I'll That's come back. And well, how long do you think she'll be back here? I don't even know. I don't even know? think she left. She's okay. walking around. You see a big red snake. The only red snake. Okay. Python that big. Right. You'll notice it for sure. No you doubt. You catch her in it, just so I say it's fine. All right. She'll be uncomfortable too. She'll be real uncomfortable. <laughs> well, you, like put me, but, huh? you put her on the videos though. You put her on the I'm trying to get her on the videos now, you yeah. know? So. Uh, what, what's your second favorite? Just in case we don't My second favorite, yeah. I would say, is going to be this one. I'll take it out right now. Show up. Woo! So, this is what I call a, a, just a high white teen egg albino. I'm not sure if it's genetic. I do have one baby from her that has a weird, a little bit of an interesting look, so we'll see if it passes on. See the reds coming up the sides. Almost like um, you know, vinyl burn, burn babies when they're born. Very orange and but yellow and white. It. They grow into the colors that yeah, those albinos they, lose. This one was actually yellow. She looked nothing like that. She was a faded yellow, and all this color came in over the next few years. Every shed they get better. So it's almost and like they get red too. So it's like it's basically like a baby burn reverse growth. It's yeah. Like it grows into what the baby yep. burn is, but it starts out as what yep. it becomes as an adult. And then with the additional, you know, you get the reds, something you don't get in the berms. Oh, there goes the big one. All right, favorite showed up right while we were talking about it. Nice. There we go. That's a big, beautiful girl right there. Boy. Oh, that's a boy. We yeah. thought it was a girl, we fed it like a girl, and then we're like, oh no, it's a boy. <laughs> wow. So he's on a little bit of a dog. Yeah, a small bit. diet? A little bit. <laughs> wow. But he's impressive. Yeah, very impressive. That's, uh, <laughs> there's, there's no world in which I would have thought, oh, look at that, that's a nice uh, male blood python. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, sweet. That was awesome. I, I'm so glad he said yes. I, been watching that man for uh, you know watching his videos at least he's not always on face front of the camera which is you know I'm sure some of you guys are like can we just see the show and not your face so I, I get it I get it um, ooh Zirkle Reptile Company these guys have some incredible colubrids I've wanted to get a uh, blue beauty snake for them for quite some time and they do have a baby female right here <laughs> and then they go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they really get into it. Huh? Right there. <laughs> Some Taiwanese beauty snakes. Sorry, that shot's not very good for you guys. How about this Chinese beauty right here? Oh, beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. We're back in the same aisle where Jake was. We need to turn around and walk back to, well, let's go the other end. We're, we're kind of at the spot. There's this part of the show, I think in the March show would generally be like, that area would be closed down, but there's still a big part of the show left. So let's see what we got here for you folks. Chicago Reptile House. This is awesome. Oh, something else you guys have all probably already seen already is Justin Kabilka's transition into uh, Canova from Jay Kabilka Reptiles. We had some actually really good Triple B TV interviews with uh, Chase and with Summer, Grace, Mitchell, who runs their social media stuff and like does the video stuff. It's looking fantastic over here. Um, I think that was a bold statement, making the move to Canova after being JKR, Jacob Bilker Reptiles for such a long time. Um, you'll have to tune into Triple B TV. You got some of his beautiful, look at this thing. You won't see this one on Triple B TV. Coral Glow Stranger Batman. Phenomenal ball python right there. 
Absolutely. Uh, with no price on it, you can tell that one's not for sale, just for show. Um, if there was one for sale that you might want to come check out, you got this pastel spot nose coral glow stranger clown. There's a lot happening with that snake, and that includes the price tag. But you know, play your cards right. Play your cards right. That price tag. Come back around and uh, feed your babies. Uh, so, yeah, good. How about you? Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Out. With my hand. It's the last out. I don't know what do I do with my. Hand. This man's never on camera. He doesn't know what never, to do. Never. <laughs> that was a great time. Yeah, it was a good time, man. I, I'm super glad to have had it happen again. You know, and yeah, like, for all this time. Yeah, for after yeah. all this time. There's something about. Okay, let me ask your opinion. I've never really asked anybody else's opinion on this too much, but for me, what Tinley, what makes Tinley special is this carpet. Really? Yeah. When you, when you see the carpet, you know it's Tinley. Yeah. And I guess we're at the place, finally. Yeah. It's warm, it's inviting. You can lay down and take a nap if you want without like, hurting your head too much. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> All right, don't lay on the ground. Well, dude, I climbed into a bucket of dry ice earlier, and I don't know if it's showing up. Did you really? That's from... Yeah, I see it. Burn. Why? Ah. The, they Cold Blooded Cafe, there was a, it was a publicity stunt. Really? Uh, yeah. Do you feel like it's burning you? It's, yeah, it feels yeah, like it's burning, it. dude. Yeah. It's all right. Publicity stuff. I don't know. They just opened the thing and said, You want to jump in? I was like, All right. <laughs> I'm not smart. Was it water or anything? Or just... No, it's just dry ice, like a big tub where they were yeah, keeping the like, rats like and stuff. Negative 100 and something degrees. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. I laid on it for a minute. Yeah. Felt a good, felt a good, you know. I just had to give an example of maybe what not to do sometimes for the kids. I'm trying to, you're trying to feel like a, like a rat deal. I, I grew up around a lot of folks that did things like that where I was like, oh, I'm not doing that. So I'm really? trying to, you know, lead by example, I guess. Really? But I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. <laughs> yeah. What's up, brother? What's up, man? We got to see some, we got to see some phenomenal stuff. I know I'm, I'm catching you, they're trying to break stuff down. Would you mind showing me like a couple of your favorites sure. on the table? Let's take a walk. JSI, JSI. <laughs> <Yeah>. Good God. <laughs> I've been talking to a camera too long today. JSA Reptiles, ladies and gentlemen. It is a little banana cinnamon specter or yellow belly clown. All right. Thought she turned out pretty sweet. Yeah. Creamy. Oh, yeah. She blends right in with your hands. <laughs> Want me to set her on the black? <laughs> yeah, 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 perfect. You need five more minutes. There we go. Yeah. Now we can see a little bit better. So you said again. It said uh, pastel specter. Nope. No. So just cinnamon, cinnamon, banana, banana and then specter or yellow. Specter or yellow belly yeah, came clown. Super, yep. Super straight pairing. Yeah. Clown. No. Yeah. Clown. Yes. yes. Clown. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Very good. If people want to follow what you got going on, because this is a really good guy right here. I've gotten to talk with this guy over the years. We haven't actually done it on camera so much, but we'll get there one of these days. We're getting we the, we're, we're here right yep. now. Yep. <laughs> we'll get to something more more pressure. We'll yeah. sit down for show BTV. More appropriate. Yeah, a little yeah. more appropriate yep. where I'm not talking about burning myself on dry ice or <laughs> just being ridiculous. But to be fair, Joe, um, this will get more views than most of the Triple B episodes. I promise. Yeah. So, you're yeah. actually outreaching to more people right now, That's right awesome. here, that I think yeah. than a Triple B TV. So. Yeah, we love everything you do, man. Nothing but positivity. We love it. Thanks, man. Yeah. Even when it's just dumb, dumb head. Hey, at least it's still positive. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yep. Well, did you, you have another one? You want oh, number yeah. two? You want to show? I'd love to see a, a second animal from you. Lots of beautiful stuff happening over here. Nice oh, little nice. blackhead combo. So, Inchi Mojave. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yep, Inchi Mojave, Yellow Belly, and then Orange Dreams in the pairing. Wow. Yep. I mean, I would say the Orange Dreams there. I mean, yeah, it's yep. something you have to prove probably, right? But yep. it sure seems like it is. Definitely looks like it. The, the only thing is, like, sometimes the red gene kind of really enhances stuff. And, mm. you know, if it's a high expression red gene, then it comes up, you know, comes up further on the sides. But, yeah. Nice. Blackhead makes some fun stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Appreciate it, man.
We're gonna. Um, I will see you again for too long. He touched me. I did. What's up, man? <laughs> nice to finally meet you. Oh, you're recording. I'm recording. Oh, what's up? Um, Tommy, typical. How did I miss you all weekend, dude? I, I seen you like twice, and every time I seen you, you were going one way, I was going the other. I was actually doing something. I was like, son of a. And then Casey was like, yeah, you missed Brian. He came by and took pictures, and it's like. Ah. <laughs> and then in the auction, you took a picture with Harley, and I was outside with Will. So, <laughs> dude, a little bit. I so, put a little clip right. If you guys didn't follow on Instagram, like her face was classic. Yeah, dude, that's Harley. She runs from Troy. So, like I said, I mean, the face is better than running. But here, while you're recording this, we're gonna oh. put my arm around you. And we're gonna take a quick. Here we go. How, uh, how are you yeah, gonna do that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go on this side. All right, you go on that side. All right, we we know what we're doing here. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at this camera. <laughs> dude, this guy's. Oh, sorry. Get it, get it on camera that you're, you know, yeah. on camera, on camera. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You guys yeah. made it down from the, the big CA. Well, you obviously, you checked out the booth yesterday. Yeah, dude, it, we, yeah. it, it worked out perfectly. I'm not from New York, but. You went, wait, say again? We came from New York. We came from New York, but you went through. Because I was under the impression that people weren't able to drive across the border. That's what I had heard. But obviously, you guys were able to. No? Am I mistaken? What do you mean? I'm talking out of my butt. Don't listen to me, dude. Dude, don't don't no, don't 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 pay attention to me. What? My my brain. I, this is the end of the show. Yeah, I can't be held too, accountable so for I, the I, things you, that I say. It might be making sense, and I might be an idiot. But. No, I think that it's probably me. We'll chalk it up to it's definitely me, and you're just getting caught up in my wild storm of not knowing what I'm talking about. It, it, it could be. I, I, we'll, we'll, we'll meet in the middle with it. Yeah, we'll just agree that uh, I'm wrong. What size shirt are you? A uh, large. Can you do an XL? That's all I have left. Um, yeah, I can I do an XL. I wanted you earlier, but again, I didn't see you. So. That's all right. Thank you. Gold. You want to be special? It. Yeah, I want to be special. There's black and blue. There's pink. Atypical oranges. Atypical oranges. <laughs> Atypical origins. I like this. I like right. the gold and the gray. It's cool. Well, Thanks, Brian, Tom. it was great meeting you. you and too, bro. if you, uh, you know, are back that way, stop in and say hi again. Yeah, absolutely. Bye, everyone. Bye, or bye, everyone. <laughs> Royal Constrictor Designs, of course, Garrick DeMeyer. Um, I mean, he has his own YouTube channel. I'll just say it right there. Royal Constrictor Designs. I've been following Garrick on YouTube since back in the day, too. I mean, you get so many people that have been inspirations for myself here at the show that you get to meet. And again, this is just another reason why you guys need to come down. What's going on with this folk? All right. You guys need to come down to the show. Simple, pure and simple. Like, I'm going to show you as much of it as, as possible as I can through this little camera lens, but really got to do is just show up here in person <sighs> I'm doing my best where is Dave Dave yeah um Dave is where is Dave <laughs> I just thought I'd try to make that mysterious but no um Dave went to go um wrap things up <laughs> can you show me one of your favorite shirt designs so Annie was here with her cousin, and they were selling awesome shirt designs that they created uh, here at the show. And one of them being this, which is so, super cool. If you like Star here, Wars, I'll throw, throw it down here. okay, thank you. If you like Star Wars, if you like reptiles, I mean, <laughs> look at that. That is cool. That is awesome. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> this is epic. Dude, I want to join in. Ouch. Ouch. Twin powers activate. Good job on those. I heard you guys sold almost all of them. Yeah, we are down to six. And I will make more. Um, Dave will have it on his site. And um, if you like it, I will... I will sell it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fair. Sounds fair. Here, Thanks, there you go. Brian. Subscribe to all 75 channels of Dave Kaufman's different adventures. Uh, it's not weird at all. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I need a closer, but what do you guys want to see? Leave a comment down below if you would have liked to have seen something that I haven't shown yet and what it is that it is I haven't shown you yet. We've looked at some lizards, we looked at some turtles, we looked at some snakes, we didn't see any frogs. That's rough. I need a frog. Let me just try and find you guys a frog. Do you guys know where a frog is? Where? Over this way? Oh, perfect. I was already heading. It's, it keeps my momentum. Oh, right there. Dart frog connection. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Hi.
Hey. Uh huh. I I know that shirt. I'm gonna get you a better one to cover it up next time, though. Yeah. <laughs> Dart frog connection. Look at these tidies. What's up, guys? You guys have a favorite frog on the table? Favorite frog on the table. Yeah. I mean, that's probably a hard thing. Oh, he, oh, you knew it right off the bat. He's like, this is it right here. Yeah. Wait a second, I'll take yours. Okay, cool. Smart. See how he sprays his hands down before handling the frog? Like, that's very important. With the broken you know, sprayer? My favorite frog. There you go. It's for you. It's free gift. <laughs> Wait, what is yeah. this? Yeah, free what, gift. What is happening right now in here? Is that our favorite frog on the table? <laughs> Nano good luck dart frog. The tiniest Nano dart frog, frog <laughs> in the world. I may have left out a word just for... Can you even get that on camera? Um, yeah, I can see it, you know, kind of. <laughs> There's a tiny frog in there. If you can see it, it's ultimately tiny. I'm gonna take it home. I'll show you on the macro lens. Dude, that is super cool. Monkey frog. Giant waxy monkey frog. From Peru. Dude, their faces are so interesting. It's like a. I mean, it's definitely. Somewhat, like a grumpy old man. Yeah. I mean, somewhat resembles a whites, but yeah, with a much more grumpy old man factor. They get a lot bigger than this, too. Like, how much bigger? Females are like that. As big as your hand? Oh, yeah. Dude, those are super cool. What, what is the care on, like? A um, they like it a little bit drier. They do need to get misted throughout the day. But um, they kind of dry out. So then what they do is just secrete a wax and they'll you put it on like sunscreen. So they're other bellies and then wipe it all over their bodies to keep them from drying out. Hence wax. Yep. Yeah. Well, That's the name yeah. Waxy Monkey Frog. Yeah, sure. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah, no problem, it. I appreciate brother. the little tiny frog. Thank you so much. He's Tree Frog Connection. I'm Houston Frogs. He's Dart Frog Connection. Oh, you guys so. are, you guys tripled up on the frog tripled up, action. actually. And we got isopod.com as well. We all help each other out. Okay, so. okay. You know, I picked up some... Oh, there he is. Yeah, I picked up some isopod.coms uh, nice. <laughs> at the Anaheim show. Nice. Yeah, cool, oh, man. Do you like, uh, you like isopods? I'm guessing you do, huh? Yeah, yeah I'm happy with isopods. They're you fun. want a tiny isopod? Sure. Here, here's a nice blue one. Sweet. Yeah, I'll just make those pieces of bronze, too. Look that right there. Hi, it's me. I've been around for a long, long time. I'll show you what's in my hand because I don't want you to always have me behind. Cool, man. Thanks for those. I appreciate it. So, if people want to find animals from so Dart Frog Connection. And, uh, and then tree frog com, connection. Tree frog connection. And then Houston frogs. Houston frogs. That's right. Awesome. Good frog. See? see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, literally, didn't I just say to you guys, like, I wish I could see a frog? And then you literally walk around the court. This is why you need to come to the show in person so you can have your own wishes come true almost instantly. Like, it's like, hey, I'd like to see a frog. All right, how about a frog? How about the, one of the coolest frogs you've ever seen in your entire life? Right there, waiting for the, the pickings. <laughs> The pickings for you to. <laughs> I'm uh, definitely struggling. Uh, I'm still doing Sober October though. I'll tell you that there's people that are doubters about the Sober October thing. Nope, right here at Tinley Park. Still Sober October for me. And I had a time of my life, honestly. It was, there was some wild moments we can talk about later, but uh, for the most part, it was good. I say we pull back in, I pull, we say we pull the ship back in home because people are really trying to break down now and i really don't want to get in anybody else's way so uh we're just gonna mosey on back to our spot i'm gonna give you guys the last little message of hope before we get out of here and uh i think it's pretty good this has been a fairly successful uncut a couple of minor injuries to the back of my arm and tricep but i'll work those out with some tricep pull downs on the machine later at the gym and we'll be good to go but here we go back to the triple b tv booth I did get um, not the record amount of interviews that I've done on Shovel BTV in a weekend at a reptile show, but we did get a pretty good amount, and we did get some really awesome individuals who I've had wanted to have on the show for a long time. So you guys got that to look forward to over the next few months coming up on Shovel BTV on the vlog channel. I think what we're gonna do next is go to my buddy uh, Maddie's shop back in California. He's got a plant shop, and he's getting into reptiles and incorporating the two, live plants and reptiles. So if that's something you'd like to check out, 
let me know. If you'd like to see me bust my butt again on some kind of workout video in the morning just to help you get you going with your day, leave a comment down below if you want that. Um, if you'd like me to always do uncut style videos at the reptile shows, which are much easier for me than having to edit for obvious reasons, then let me know that too because uh, I want to bring you guys around for everything we're doing that you want to see. You know? so, let me know. <laughs>